All right, so on Revved Up this week, we cross over to Celebrity Rides, where once again we catch up with uh, one of the more popular ladies around. She's uh, an actress, she does television, she's a host, and uh, she does radio as well, one of the bigger shows in the afternoons when it comes down to Uganda. You probably know who I'm talking about already, uh, Flavia Tumusini. Yes. Such a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming through and welcome to the show. Thank you. Good ride, huh? <laughs> yes, very comfortable, very lovely. Before we talk about the ride itself, uh, I want us to talk about you. Uh, a small career question. Look, I've, I've read a couple of newspapers, I've uh, seen some articles about you in papers. Are you one of those folks who get up in the morning and say, you know what, I've worked hard for my career, but it's been such a smooth ride because from a young age, television, radio, uh, channel, or NTV, you're leading the cast and everything. Are you one of those folks who go home in your room alone and say, ha, ah, it's actually been kind of smooth? Uh, sometimes, but I don't think it has been smooth. It's, uh, I say it's like a duck. You know, when a duck is, is on the water, on top, it's just it's so calm. Under there, it's paddling. So people don't see the, the stress that goes into it. So it's been a, a good ride. It's just not smooth. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Haka because it's revved up. So it's, it's all about cars. And that is very segment is called Celebrity Rides. Uh, shall we talk about your car? Yes. In detail. <laughs> but for starters, for how long have you had this car? And tell me, why on earth... Mm. Don't you have a hammer? Yeah, well, let's start from the, the last question. No, really, I don't want a hammer. I want a Jeep Grand. I don't have a Jeep Grand because I, I think I can afford it in a year, uh, but I don't think I want to buy that. I have a, other thoughts of investing somewhere else. So that's why I don't have a Jeep Grand, not a hammer. How long have I had the car? Should be close to three and a half years or four. Yeah. Hey, you make money, eh? Uh, maybe. <laughs> no, I would never stand up and say in a year's time I'm driving something that expensive. But but what are the benefits? What are the benefits of having this specific car? Okay, well, first of all, the story behind this particular car. Uh, I, I was going to church. I pray. Okay, well, she makes the two of us. Uh, just so you know. And I saw somebody driving this car and they parked it and I went right next to the car and I started breathing next to it and I said, that's the next car I want to drive because I was driving a, a much smaller RAV4. And then I asked for the price and then I said, maybe I don't want to drive that car. <laughs> maybe my dreams don't have to happen at that time. Um, then I had an accident with my old car and I had to buy a new car. And I said, well, what happened to that dream? Let me buy it. Now this particular car has been owned by, well, the first owner for about six months, then me. So she said, well, here is something, and I, I got very lucky with it. So it called me. To, it's, it's a relationship here. Yeah. It was meant to be. <laughs> what are the benefits with this car? Whether it's comfort, whether it's maintenance, whether, whether it's fuel, what are the benefits? Do I tell the truth? Yeah, you have to. Oh, okay, okay, I'll be honest. I am a terrible driver. Well, I think in the last two years I've kind of worked out how to drive carefully, but I'm not very good with the bumps, and we don't have the safest roads, you know, bumps here and there. And I wanted a car that's um, slightly high, that's you know big body comfortable uh, but also still in my cost and that made sense because I can hit that car in any part of the village <laughs> or town and it still doesn't feel the bumps so I, I guess that it was comfort cost and cool a bit of swag all right that's that's what you like about your car yeah. but you know someone would also ask you um, I mean you, you're such a big celebrity in town now uh, that means there's so many folks out there <laughs> who, who, who look after you. But, but I'm asking, like, if you got up in the morning and then some kid came up to you and said, you know what, I'd buy a car, my first car. Yeah. What are the four, three points you'd give that very person? What exactly should they look out for? Okay. Uh, f first of all, when you're buying a car and, and not your parents who are like billionaires out there, uh, who are giving you the car. You need to first of all... Stop talking about me, by the way. <laughs> yes, billionaire. <laughs> you need to look into your pockets. You have a budget. Have a budget for a car. But also before you... Because you, you, you can have the money to buy this particular car, but you don't have the money to afford this. You know, there's two different things because you have to maintain the car. It's, it's The more expensive the car, by the way, the more expensive the maintenance. <laughs> you know? There's the fuel. There's the, the brakes are having issues. There's, you know, somebody scratched your car and you need to eat shock. So you need to think about the maintenance. So ask as many questions as you can and, and I'm a female which makes it even worse so we don't know anything so I asked as many questions as I could about the car you need to find out who, who has the same car test drive it I know people are not that nice not that friendly but I got test drives yeah. people are nice to me uh, so you know feel if you know you like the comfort you know look at all those things so I said cost is quite important maintenance is quite important to think about consumption 
Okay. Yo, viewers. <laughs> yeah. It, it, yes, it does take a lot. All right, that's it uh, with uh, Flavia. This is very rich. She's shown you her car. She's given you the tips and also giving you reasons why you need to buy specific cars for your garage. Flavia, thank you very, very much Pleasure. for coming through. We do appreciate And uh, please, start driving safely. <laughs> I will. <laughs>